Do not ask your respondents to answer questions with a yes-no response. If they do answer yes-no, ask them to explain what they mean when they say that. Never settle for a yes or a no. The last word you hear should not be one of those two words. People tend to overestimate their own importance in stories. They'll use words like I, and then I went to this, and then I did this. That's not always the actual case. The second thing is that time is always the enemy of reality. The farther away you are in time from a specific moment when a story took place, probably the less legitimate and valid that story is. So always use that with a grain of salt. Asking for the specific details of an event helps you out in two ways. Number one, it shows a lot of interest on your part and that allows you to build a better connection. And number two, it prompts deeper revelation from the subject and it allows them to kind of unravel themselves in a way that, that really shows what they feel about a certain issue or event. Never be afraid to ask things over and over again, even if it makes you sound silly. Always ask, why? What do you mean? How? Explain. Huh? As many of those beats as you can add into that rhythm, it will help you along the way get the answers from the subject that you want. Challenge people on what they're telling you. What do you mean by that? Huh? How did that work? Ask them to explain to you the process of how something came about. Even if it seems like it makes total sense, let them explain to you the steps in the process. It allows you to really understand what they're talking about. Never be afraid to tell someone, I don't understand, even if you do. The natural human inclination is to explain and to help people out and try to give them a little bit of a ladder to climb on. And if you say it, you don't understand, especially after building a rapport and building that connection along the way, they're gonna be inclined to help you out so you do understand and you understand it from their point of view.